Hi y'all, it's been, it's been changing. Second time I'm recording this. So this is the metal and ice embellishment swap on my scrap room. So what you had to do is you had to alter a nice bag, which I altered three nice bags, and but I'm gonna put it in this big bag and then I'm gonna alter this bag. And then um and you had to have at least four pieces of metal, which of course I went overboard, two altered bottle caps, and at least three pieces, I believe, of like the ice pieces, um, which of course I went overboard. So first I altered the three different size of the glassing bag. So large is the metal, medium is the ice, and then the small is the cap. So what I did was I used the Lifetime paper from Prima, and I did them so where my partner can actually remove the letters if she wants to reuse the glassine bags instead of, like, tossing them out. Um, so for my caps, my bottle caps, this is actually a playing card, vintage playing card, which I backed two of them together. Um, they, I used the vintage, ta like they were already colored, but made distressed. So this, there's a pink one and a white one. This one, I used my little punchy punch to punch out so f so much. That little image with the sewing machine stuff. I inked that up, glossy accented it, uh, put some roses. Then these are the Studio G, um, the little metal tags. Um, so this one says Wish. I used a metal filigree piece um, to attach it to the jump ring, and that's attached to the jump ring. And then I used a gold butterfly, fili uh, not filigree, what is this, the, the applique. And then this one, I used a clock, glossy accented it, some roses, again, the little tag, and then the filigree piece, and this one's a flower. And I did cover the back of them with paper as well. So, I, and I know I, was, I went in really more detail in the other one, but then I ran out of room, so I had to delete that one and redo this one. Oh, no. Okay. My metal, um, I put this vintage lace and a gardenia, and again, these can come off if she wants to reuse it. Fine. I took a piece of lightweight chipboard, covered it with paper. I'm doing videos, punched a bunch of holes in it, and of course I went, I didn't do four, and I did at least two to three of each of these, um, there's two to three on here of the filigree pieces. And then she also gets the brads. And I put four little metal corners on here, which you can, um, I gave to her as well. So there's that. So just kind of show you those. Um, and again, she can re hopefully reuse the tag. And lastly, the ice pieces, again, this one I just put burlap and then the lace and the gardenia, and it says ice, and this one I made a little tussy messy, um, so I just took a toilet paper roll and cut it to the size I wanted it, flattened it with a bone folder, covered it with paper, and I used where it said memories together always, and this is a little typewriter, um, inked it in green, you can see that, um, I wrapped this really pretty lace around the bottom. This is a little Prima flower, which is here. And then I tied, I used that lace again, this one here. Um, tied a nice bow, and I put this little blingy heart. And I made a little handle again with the, that. So you had at least three, need, ooh, at least three bling pieces. So I kind of filled this up with bling, and then, you know, like the crystal pieces. And then I added a couple extra fun pieces. So let me dump it out and show you. So, you can see right down there, nice and pretty. So, I have two of these little bobble ones. So those, I kind of got to go through this quickly. Um, there's some of these little pearl flowers. Um, there's a butterfly bling. Actually, there's two butterfly blings. There's a cabochon rose. Um, there's these little glass. Um, opaque little ro uh, flower beads. Um, there's a little crystal shoe in yellow. A little crystal flower. Um, little ballerina. Kind of dump those little pieces in there. And then there's this big blingy heart button. This heart button here. Um, nice big bobble and then there's these two big crystal pieces here 